hello and welcome to Witchery Co-op with me, Stimpy, and and me, Aldrin, with an arrow right in his dome. <coughs> well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're here in the fields of tree because mm. we've been planting trees, and uh, there, yeah, that's an older tree. So oh, basically, four saplings. Yeah, some of them give good. Yeah, we've been just collecting resources because that's what you do in Minecraft when uh, nobody's watching. You collect resources and accidentally start chopping the floor. So uh, yeah, we're gonna cut down some alder. We've got hawthorn over there, quite a bit of it, and uh, Rowan. Oh. oh baby! Oh shit! Oh god! That that is an angry tree god. Axes work well, right? Ah, uh, they work good enough. He's down. Okay. Ooh, Spriggy. Let's have a look at that. Oh, I have 14 elder saplings now. Nice. Have a twig. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, an end twig. Doesn't do anything. Maybe I, need, I probably need to magically imbue it. Cool. Uh, that is the dangerous of being a, uh, a lumberjack in a witchery world. Yeah. No, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. The end. So, acacia's useless, right? Acacia's just posh wood. I just planted yeah. it to have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to focus on Alder, Hawthorne, and Rowan. Then. Oh, yes, we are. Do you want to talk about why we're doing that? Because uh, I don't remember. Okay. Basically, um, stage one witchery is you cook up in the, uh, the witch's uh, oven your regular saplings, and you get your various little whiffs and fumes and such, and you... You know, use that to make mutandus, and then with mutandus you grow the extra magical trees, and then you do it to get your second level. You know, you, you burn those saplings to get your uh, your second level whiffies and fumies. So you know, we're gonna have three more fumes out of these three new types of sapling. And oh, good lord, another tree! And one of those fumes is actually a whiff of magic, isn't it? It is a whiff of magic, and that is a very important one. And uh, I could do with some backup yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, They hit you back so hard. I'm about to go down. Oh, that's so good. was he. Oh, he was a rowan one, wasn't he? Uh. You yes, but he only gave me one sapling. Cheap bastard. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> it wasn't even worth the effort of murdering him. <laughs> uh, we just have to remember not to cook all of these uh, saplings up. Mm. Right, I'm going to concentrate mostly on the alder because uh, that's what we uh, we need most of on the shelf. It is, isn't it? it right, is. what's Alder? Alder is the one that's not grey. It's the very green leaf. Oh wait, it's also kind of grey. The leaves yeah. almost look like they have runner beans on. <coughs> so Alder's the whiff of magic, you said? Uh, it's not, but we've got... Uh, I've already uh, been farming trees, so I already had them in the oven just to save us some time. So we already have about 24 whiff of magics. Oh, right. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. I've been hardcore farming. Because, you know, nobody wants to see 17 hours of living trees just spawned. Wait, what? There he is. You know, if your forest's dead, dense enough, these things are, like, invisible. <laughs> if, if you notice where he walks also plants grass and flowers. I did not. Yeah, he just put this tulip here. He's a cool guy. He is a cool guy. If he wasn't so fucking angry, if we could reason with him. Oh yeah, yeah. It's definitely him that needs to be reasoned with when you're slaughtering his uh, his friends. Rowan Sapling, by the way. We are actually for sorry. We are forcing the evolution of his species. All right. We are making thousands of his brethren, and, and then killing nine hundred of them. <laughs> yeah, look, you got you got to spend money to make money. <laughs> all right. I feel like you're advocating eugenics here. I am bit. advocating eugenics. Oh, that's going to be quoted when you're famous. <laughs> it is. Famous? Me? Nah. Only for the eugenics war. <laughs> famous for your role in the eugenics war. <laughs> the quote will be, we should have seen it coming. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's that hole I kind of dug into. Oh, good lord, living tree. My axe is getting pretty low, mostly from all of this violence. Oh, 
so that oh, you went flying then <laughs> i went flying here. yeah another thing is um cooked up about stack and a half in mutandis went through got some of the saplings to do here also the other two magical flowers uh we have uh, i believe this is glintweed we can just punch this uh yeah glintweed this beautiful stuff lights up we'll take some of this to plant around the house uh because it gives off light as you saw doesn't give off seeds no well. it, it, it just spreads naturally through itself oh yeah. right like uh, yeah, yeah can i have some food uh, I have three potatoes. You can have one. Oh. What happened to all my bread? Oh, right. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, the, other, the other one is these lovely things, which I think give off a tiny amount of light. This is... I have no idea what it's called. Uh, you can only pick it with shears, though. Here's some I made earlier. Yeah, it does give off light. You see how it went darker? Yeah, yeah. What's it called? It is called ember moss. Ember moss, and uh, it looks like it hurts. Grass. <laughs> yeah. See, the great thing is this is is you can. This is a good perimeter defense. Like you know, line your compound, the outer wall with this stuff. We should go. We, it's we, getting dark. We should go. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, they mostly come at night, you know. They do mostly come. At mostly. Night. Mostly. They mostly come at night. Mostly. See, the thing is, I just go off and do the Eric Cartman impression. <laughs> Mostly. Uh, you seen that episode, I, right? I don't actually know if I have. Where are you, you going? Leave? I don't know. You're the one that brought me here. <laughs> just... I'm waiting for you to go, and then I turn around <laughs> and you're just standing there watching me. Oh, don't you know how to get home? This is a forest entirely of his own creation. <laughs> and then he leads me into it and says, Oh, don't you know how to get home? Oh, it's the same way as when the forest... Oh, hello. Thank you. Uh, see, a great thing to do right now would be to just go. I am a magical man. Do, 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 do. And oh, these guess. things will spread everywhere like a disease. And then we can finally get rid of these torches. I oh, love yeah. the torches. He sticks torches on wooden trees <laughs> and thinks he'll I'll let him get away with it. Oh. God, I hate you. Like a villager. Stop it! <laughs> Don't let the neighbors in. Let me give him this arrow back. Right in the mouth. <laughs> You've got two stick it out of your head. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, yeah. The chicken farm. I think we got enough eggs. Hey. <laughs> oh, this did its job. But now we've got enough eggs. Yeah, we don't need to have that horrible thing anymore. I should probably also show what's happened to the uh, pond. The pond, yes, the pond. Are we working on the pond? Working on the pond? We're removing the uh, larger area over here and just making a more deep kind of little lagoony pool. We've began, we've begun to begin covering the top of it and making a canopy. The trees will eventually lean over and it will look very kind of hidden pond and then we're gonna have a deck chair out here and a little fishing stool <laughs> maybe probably not I mean, the important thing is that it'll be covered whereas hey. right now it does have a covering but it doesn't look very natural because you know most of it is artificial that's not a full okay. chris tucker no it's not that guy doesn't mean anything to me but yeah we have a canopy but uh you know it's very unnatural it's all been put in there yeah and by making the pool smaller, we can surround it with trees better and mm -hmm. maybe make it a slightly more natural-looking yeah. kind of thing. Is, um, I want to custom sculpt the area rather than just grow the trees because um, oh yeah, yeah, I want to have full. Oh, the trees are just a starting yeah. point. I mean, the idea is that you walk down here, and even though it's all enclosed, you don't want anything obscuring you. So you you kind of look forward and you get to this bit, and you get like the trees curving in from the left here and from the right, and you get a framed picture. It's all about framing the scene, you see. It is. It is. Wow. This is art. It is. I got it. <sighs> anyway, can, what can, else do we have? I, I can do that now. We... I don't know. We did the flowers, we did the stuff. We were going to do some magic. Well, yes, form. but I did just remember something else. It's night. Nice. Stimpy had covered the place in Spanish moss, <laughs> but I have finished getting rid of it, and we have about 200 of that now. <laughs> the house was green. The house was green. <sighs> we have a few more shelves now of our brick a brack and yeah. here we go. This is uh this is the good stuff. If do you have the uh, 
the elder. Oh, I have 30 elder. How many elder do you have? 64. Well, shove your elder in then. Uh, I'm shoving everything onto you. Okay. You can take it for now. Fine. I will I'll be sapling man. Da -da -da sapling man. This is the last one we don't have. Uh, we've got, uh, what's this? There we go. That's the whiff of magic. Nice uh, star on it. And the odor of purity right there. And that's our four previous ones we have. And this will be the next one when we actually get one. Wood ash is really actually quite useful with the bones. One bone and a full crafting grid, obviously, you know, so eight. Um, wood ash will basically extend the the the, <sighs> the bones bone mill capacity from three to seven. You could just demonstrate it in the crafting table two feet away. I don't have a bone. Oh, I have a bone, yeah. Ah. Okay, so uh, if you allow me to shut the fuck up for a second. If only. Now here's a bone. Three bone mill. Here's a bone. Four bone mill. Here's a bone. Five bone mill. Here's a bone. Six bone mill. Here's a bone. Seven bone mill. Oh, snap. So wood ash used very good. It's a very good extender of your mm. fertilizer. I'd like to be able to mix it with bread and make shit bread, but that's just me. Ah, yes, and there we go, finally. A reek of misfortune. Uh, I want that on the bottom shelf. I don't know why I should do. So yeah, that's 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 our chemical, our compounds and bottled junk so far. We're going to cut back when uh, we have something to do. Alright, chaps. Um, this is the initial place of our altar, where our altar is going to go. Yeah, you've got a bit of a sky view. You've got a nice opening here. This used to be a little pond. We've filled it in. Mm -hmm. um, this is where, if you remember, like glancing at previous videos, there was a big patch of almost rectangular sand. This is where it was. Yeah. I went and farmed some dirt from the dirt farm. It's almost <laughs> secure, but not quite yet. Like, there are a few gaps in the trees, but mostly the trees keep stuff out. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'm going to go make, make the altar blocks, uh, all six of them. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be placed over here. This is... Um, do we know whereabouts in here in relation to any magic circles that need to be made nearby? That is a good point. I didn't think about magic circles. I think the biggest size of magic circle is uh, 10 or 11, maybe? It's, yeah, it's about 11-ish. But the altar doesn't actually have to go on the circle, so... No, no, it doesn't. But the altar at like, the just far just end. Like, well, over here, here, sort of thing. And then the circle will you know, go around this whole yeah, bit. It'll, it'll dynamically grow. Yeah, we'll make it bigger if we need a bigger area for so. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's the recipe. We need some Rowan, Stone Bricks, Exhale of the Horned One, Breath of the Goddess, and some bottles of Wacky Juice. Mm. I mean water. Uh. Not moonshine. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's get our bottles. Two of the Feckers. Uh, horned One. Two of them. Inventory's full of crap. And uh, I said other things, didn't I? I get Breath of the Goddess, which is that one. Your water bottles. I do. All prepared on that front. Now I need Rowan and stone. Now I've been stumping the wood down here in a disorganized chest. One of these is not like the other. One of these is Rowan. Uh, it's this one on the left. Has wood I've, in it. I well. got some. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll move this stuff here then. Because I've just made a mess and just dumped it in there. But I do need some Oops. stone bricks. I think we might be out of them, but I did make some smoothies. Oh, no, we got some. Cool. I can't remember how many I needed, so there we go. Ooh. Six. That's that's a little OCD thing there. Just ignore, ignore what you just saw there. I didn't need that many Rowan, I'll tell you that. Ooh, look at that lovely wood color. Ooh. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. There's three. Oh, you don't get your bottle back. It's like you're smashing them on. Yeah. This is just as bad as a dash. <clears throat> just as bad. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the glass, the, bo the glass bottles are actually in the altar, though. It's like a humidification chamber. Could be. I'm Probably willing to. It, like a humidor. A humidor. Like a humidor. For some reason, it has a humidor boot in. Anyway, come to the altar placement location. I will in a second. I need to kill this chicken. And let me just, just, just let me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
fine. Alright, that'll be yeah, there. That'll do. That will do. Have you murdered the chicken? Yeah. He was in a hole I was trying to fill in, so... Now, <clears throat> do you want to put it into the in back one here, or...? Uh, yeah, let's put it back, this one more. Alright. Alright, these lovely block block. They're a lovely decorative block. I don't know what it's like to build with them, but expensive. And the final one, Pazawa! Ooh. We have got 882 for the it's moment. The power. on our power. That is the cap, and it's currently being recharged. But, uh, yeah. You can see it's taking in natural essence from the world, from all the trees and jibber jab and whatnots. Yeah. Definitely got to get more life around here. Yeah, I believe the cap is what's increased by having more life, mm -hmm. and the cap is what actually matters to us. Generally, yeah. Yeah, because oh. like some, some say, I need 5k power, some say I need 10k power. I mean, yeah. essentially the regen is just how often we can do a spell. Uh, it is, yeah. So the regen doesn't really matter. Right. right, I'm gonna make some books. Let's uh, let's first of all let's get a circle magic one. Wait, where did I do with all the books? The downstairs shit. Preparedness, huh? Oh right, the actual blank books yeah. that you need to write in. Yeah, we need to smush this shit between the pages. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go first of all, just because it's coming up probably circle magic. Mm -hmm. Let's get some whiff of misfortune. In fact, let's just take everything off the shelf because it's probably going to take some of this junk. And we'll just go through and see what's there. So we have got belladonna, feather, ink, uh, bookie book, whiff of magic. There we go. Circle magic book. Lovely. Just one, please.